Yes, in the sense that we are sinners and that we have sinned and do sin, and God loves us and hates our sin. But the way, is it Caleb? Yeah. The way Caleb has framed that uh, is, is the way in which that has often been used, uh, both in evangelism tactics um, and in order to paint a picture of God and who God is and God's love that is, that is in the end, not biblical. And so, as I think Caleb is intimating, and as many hear that, that phrase, uh, is it biblical to say that God loves the sinner uh, but hates the sin? Uh, the reason that's not entirely appropriate is that the reality of it is, is that it's not just the sin that God sends to hell. God sends sinners to hell. And God has enmity with those sinners, and they have enmity with Him. And God has a, while He has some sort of general universal love of benevolence that is manifested in a love of beneficence upon all creatures, there is only a special filial son, sonship and father, fatherly love. That, there's only a special filial saving love upon His own children. And not everyone is a child of God. Only those who by faith trust Christ are given the right to be children of God, as we studied on Sunday at St. Andrews on, from John 1. And so it is not appropriate to say that uh, when it comes to just sort of everyone everywhere without exception, but it is appropriate to say when it comes to Christians that God does love us as sinners. But we need to also keep in mind that the New Testament designation really is that we are not sinners in the technical sense of the New Testament since we are sinful and we sin, but sinners are the designated ones who have not repented, who have not trusted Christ. And so I would say that God loves the sinful who are repentant and trusting Christ and hates our sin.